And this is the CeraVe trash. Before we even get started, it's trash. And it's so crazy because a lot of you guys were commenting that um, CeraVe broke you out too. Trash. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So we are starting the vlog off on a Wednesday. Normally I wait till Fridays to um, like start the weekend vlog. But um, I know some of you guys said that you were interested in seeing me go to the dermatologist. So today is the day. And y'all, I am so excited. Like, I cannot wait. Um, my appointment is at 940, y'all. It's 936. Oh my God, this person about to get over on me. I'm telling y'all, these people cannot drive. The, the time is just rolling. Like, I was like, oh my God, it's already like 920. I was like, I got to get ready. I got to go. I couldn't find no leggings, sis. I couldn't find nothing to put on. I just got on this little dress. This is like a little comfortable t-shirt dress, something I would wear to work to or just when I'm, you know, want something quick and easy to throw on. I just got on some sneakers. I wanted to get cute today, but sis ain't have time for all of that. So I'm getting ready to pull up. Um, I think I'm about five, six minutes away. So hopefully they let me record because I do want to um, record my journey, record my process, um, especially for my girls out there that are struggling with acne, um, whether it's uh, maskne or hormonal acne um, from birth control or whatever. So um, yeah, and you guys will get to hear, hopefully they let me record what's um, causing my acne. I'm so excited you guys like i am just on a healthy journey like i'm working out i'm feeling better i'm more energetic i'm not napping um teeth looking good like everything looking good body looking good you know my skin looking good we're just trying to get this face together um everything healthy all 2021 period so um yeah i'm getting ready to pull up so if they let me record i will see you guys once we get inside so you guys i was just seen by the nurse she got some pictures of my skin and asked me what my concerns were and everything um i've been to this dermatologist before like i was telling you guys um i just had to update information and um she took pictures asked me what was going on so now i'm just waiting for the doctor to come in all right <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what bothers you. Um, just kind of like um, the pigmented like, areas. Yeah. Okay. And I was telling her I was um using the compound that um Miss Love gave on um, uh -huh. Doctor Love gave to me, uh -huh. and um it's expired. I probably shouldn't be using it, but okay. I was just so um frustrated from like by all the um mm -hmm. marks that the acne left. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I was telling her like when I do get the acne, it's like mm -hmm. under the skin, like okay. under the surface. So you have that cystic acne. What are you currently using on your skin? Um, for a cleanser, I just use um, black soap mm -hmm. in the at, in nighttime, mm -hmm. and then I use the Urban Skin RX okay. in the morning time. Okay. And then I just use a um, a Vino uh -huh. Oat moisturizer. Okay. And then a sunscreen um, by CeraVe during the daytime. Okay. So that's what I have on now. Are you opposed to me changing? Um, to what? <laughs> not the black soap for sure. Okay. Um, I'm not a fan of black soap. You're not? Okay. Um, you know, it's fine if you have just super oily skin, mm -hmm. but the black soap, um, will eventually catch up with you. Okay. And cause you to be really dry, which can cause even more of a reactive change on your skin. Okay. So, I will change that. I'll recommend to change that. Okay. Um, let's to see. using something else or just stick into the urban skin. No, or? I would do. And which urban skin do you have? Um, just the regular uh -huh. um, bar. I think it's in the green packaging. Okay. Okay. And let's see. Pull your hair back. Okay. For me. All right. And let's look at the other side again. All right. And is this what you normally look like, or do no, you look out worse no. than that? Um. Are you clear? Well, kind of right now I am, because um, uh -huh. like everything you see, like it's pretty right. much where I, I was breaking out at. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do. Um, and how oily are you? Um, at the end just, of the day, are you just pretty oily, or? I look like normally my forehead and my T zone. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right. So let's do some. I'm gonna give you some Avar. Avar is a sulfur cleanser. You're not allergic to any medicines, right? Um, not that I know of. Okay. I'm gonna give you a sulfur cleanser. 
Um, it's called, it's either going to be Avar or Plexion, whichever one your insurance will cover. Okay. Um, and we're going to ease into it. So I want you to use the Avar in the morning. Okay. And then I want you to use something plain and simple like Cetaphil or CeraVe. And see, I, I don't know what's break because I was uh -huh. using CeraVe, okay. like the cleanser. Yeah. And I think that it was like the niacinamide side that's in uh -huh. it, but it didn't like. Yeah. Don't, I don't want you using any products with it. Um, which is okay. why we want to keep it clean. So it's just okay. the regular therapy, which is the hydrating cleanser. Okay. Or Cetaphil plain. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Within, okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> so um, we'll do Cetaphil at night. Cause I didn't know if it was like the um, like the birth control. Cause I was telling her I did just get off um, Depo-Vera like uh -huh. in June. It could be. So I don't know if my hormones is trying to balance themselves out. Uh -huh. I didn't know if it was masculine like. Could be a combination of all that. All of it, yeah. yeah. It, you know, well, typically masking is going to be kind of just down in here this area. Along, yeah. Okay. And it's higher up on your cheeks, but it all depends on what kind of mask you're using and okay. what you know what area it's covering. Okay. All right, you guys. So I am in the car. I know I got y'all at a weird angle, but I am in the car. And um, some of the prescriptions that she prescribed me, I have to get them um, from like custom um, pharmacies or custom scripts. So I'm getting ready to call um, these numbers so that I can get everything that I need for my skin. And um, you guys, my arm was hurting holding that camera that long. So she was just basically saying like um, using um, black soap is not good. And she was like, Urban Skin is okay, but it has like a lot of additives in it and extra stuff that's not needed. So she basically took me off of that and um, told me to stop using it and put me on another cleanser. Um, some type of retinoid, I think. I don't even know what this stuff is called. I can't even read this stuff. But um, how about once I get it, I show you guys um, my morning skincare routine per my dermatologist and then my PM skin routine per my dermatologist how about we do that okay but i'm so happy because she did um prescribe me some hydroquinone um uh, which is basically like a skin um i don't want to say bleach but it can bleach your skin like if you are not careful with it so um so it's basically going to get rid of all the dark marks that i have and really even my skin tone out and then um she said the cerave moisturizer um sunscreen that I'm using in the morning time is fine. So yeah, I am going to follow her skincare routine that she's giving me um, AM and PM for six weeks. And then I will come back to the office um, to, you know, see how my skin is doing. So I made it home, y'all. It is like 6.30 in the evening. Um, I had so much fun today, you guys. I got so much done. I had a lot to do for my job. Um, like a lot of due dates and stuff. I had the stuff I had to turn in before the week is out because tomorrow is Friday. Wait, today is Thursday. Yeah. Did I say today was Wednesday in this vlog? I don't know. Anyways, y'all, tomorrow is Friday and I'm so glad because the weekend is finally here. So I end up getting two out of the three products that my dermatologist recommended or that she prescribed to me rather. Um, I feel like I just went completely over the whole esthetician step and went straight to the source, like straight to the doctor sis. Like I do not play. Whenever something is not right with me, you guys, or my body or something like that, I run to the doctor. Like, can I get an appointment tomorrow? Like I do not play. So I have been praying for God to give me clear skin, you guys, and I'm so excited because I feel like it's finna happen. It's coming through. So I'm getting ready to actually get in the shower, you guys, and do like my little skincare routine. Um, and I'm also getting ready to go through all of my skincare products to um, throw them away of the things that I no longer need um, or should no longer be using on my skin per my dermatologist. I guess after I take my shower, we can actually do that together. Might as well. Um, and then I'm just gonna chill out, watch some vlogs, um, cause I haven't watched YouTube in a minute and then I need to edit my makeup tutorial for tomorrow. So y'all, Kaysen and I and my mom and my stepdad and Tristan, Kaysen, tell me, what's up gang? We all went to, um, the park today 
And y'all, my big self got on the swings. It was a funny moment. Was like, you think we too big? Me and my mom, y'all. I was like, we ain't too big. That thing started to squeak in. I was like, shit, we need to get off. I wish I would have taken you guys with me, but I actually left my camera at home. But it was so much fun. Like, I had took them some Wendy's for lunch. We sat out and ate lunch together outside. The weather here, the weather here in Alabama in the south has been good. Like, it was like 82 degrees today, y'all. Like, it was like a high of 82. That's good news. Because that means it's going to be a real hot girl summer. Y'all, I actually had an order at Shoe Carnival. I didn't take y'all in. Um, they had this cute little Nike um, baseball cap. It's cute. Y'all, clearly my hair is wrapped up. But um, it's black. And babe always talk about my other cap that I got from Walmart for like $3. So I picked this one up. It's regular $18. But I end up getting it on sale for like $13. And then um, I like to watch Gina's vlog. Gina Janine, y'all. And um, she always talk about how Ross has these um, one size fit all leggings. Um, and I got these. They were $4.99. And I love these because I feel like nobody makes the band like this anymore. Everybody makes the band like this damn thick. Like, why does the band need to be that thick for? Why? Ugh, it's so annoying. And I haven't found, like, good leggings like this without with this thin band. And I don't know how long, y'all. So, I picked those up, too. I would have gotten way more um but they only had that one pair and i was looking like i know damn well gina thick ass cannot fit these uh one size fit alls but they also had like a plus size um section as well so let me go ahead and take me a shower you guys and we'll come back together so we can do the declutter and throw away all the skincare products my dermatologist told me to get rid of this is my skincare bucket okay it's got everything in it. Not necessarily. I mean, some of this stuff is a skincare, y'all. So, I got the apricot scrub trash. But I'm actually going to keep this because I probably end up just using it for my legs. Y'all, I am. I try not to be wasteful. So, I try to find another purpose for something if it doesn't necessarily work out. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a charcoal mask by Mary Kay. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to use it right now because I go back to see her in about six weeks. So I'm not using anything else than what she told me to because I don't want any reactions. Um, and then this is the Clear Proof um, Cleanser. It's a salicylic acid cleanser by Mary Kay. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and toss it just because it needs to be tossed. Well, let's put it in the bag. What else is in here? This is the Mary Kay Time Wise 4-in-1 Cleanser Trash. Because I'm going to be using that. And this is the CeraVe Trash. Before we even get started, it's trash. And it's so crazy because a lot of you guys were commenting that um, CeraVe broke you out too. Trash. I hate wasting stuff, y'all. I really wish I could give this stuff to somebody. This going in the trash whatever sometimes we take ales and y'all look at this huge thing like i haven't even used that much of this guess what trash this is the uh la roche pochet um purifying foaming cleanser but i think the nice cinnamon side in it was throwing my skin off so it's one of the trash my black soap she told me this is good when you first start if you have oily skin but as you keep on using it it's trash. Um, what else? And then I just have like some little perfumes and stuff in here. I don't have much skincare. And this is the Mario Badescu drying lotion. I think I'm gonna keep that. Cause I'm gonna keep it. And then these are my little body oils. If you have been watching my vlogs, you know I love them body oils, and y'all know they love them body oils. What y'all know about that body oil? Hmm. And then I just got some Projolium jelly. This is literally almost gone, so yeah. And that is pretty much it. Wait, it's one more thing I have in here, y'all. I have this Aztec Indian clay. Um, I think this needs to go in the trash. But it's actually good. It's actually really good. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep this. I'm going to keep this apricot scrub. But I'm going to put it in my um, my skincare for my, my, my body care. I'm going to um, use it as a leg scrub, like a body scrub. Because it has salicylic acid in it, which is good. I don't have acne anywhere else on my body, y'all. Like, y'all see my chest. I ain't trying to flash y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I don't have acne nowhere else but my face. She's like, do you have it anywhere else? No, sis. Just this badass face. And then I have some of the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. 
Um, for some reason, I think I want to keep this. I think I'm going to keep that too. So that's what I'm going to keep right over there. And then I had this, but um, Sarah Beige is not my friend. So I just use this. Um, I found another purpose for it. I just use it on my legs and my arms. It's just their facial moisturizer for the nighttime. So when something doesn't necessarily work out, I try to just find another purpose for it. And then this is my Urban Skin. Um, she said this one was okay. It does have some good ingredients, but mm, not so much. So I was literally done with it, as y'all can see. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the trash too. And I have these little blemish patches that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, so we're going to keep these. We're going to keep these right here. Because they don't have um, any medication. They're non-medicated. Anyway. And let me go show y'all while I'm in here. Somebody was asking me uh, what I used to wipe my teeth. It's literally this um, brand right here. Um, I get this from. Is it on focus or no? Can y'all see that? Anyway, I get it from the Dollar Tree. And they're only a dollar. You get two treatments in here. Um, two bottom, two top. Um, and they're like a dupe for the Crest whitening strips. So that's how I wipe my teeth. Y'all know I keep it simple over here. And then the last item I had was a CeraVe Daily Moisturizer Lotion. So obviously I'm not going to throw this away as well. I'm just going to use it as a all over the body lotion. Oh, and I am going to um, keep this Aveeno Calm and Restore Moisturizer. Um, I have used a great bit of it. And I also purchased another one from CVS. And I don't think this one was a problem at all because this is made for sensitive skin. So I am going to go ahead and keep this one. Oh my gosh, y'all. Real quick, I am getting ready to head out. Um, we're having a girls night out with my sister, some of her friends. Um, one of my friends that I haven't seen in a, a minute, I believe she's going to come too. I really, really, really want to take you guys with me because I know a lot of you guys say that when I do go out, some of you guys don't go out, so you guys live through me. Um, but I'm trying to see, like, if this place is going to let me take my camera inside. I also hate when I do take you guys with me places that y'all can't actually hear the music. You feel me? I hate that. But um, anyways, you guys, I spent like 30 minutes taking pictures. So let me show you guys what I'm wearing and my perfume of the night. And we getting ready to head out. I guess I'll try to take you guys with me. Um, and it's more so like, it's not really a club. It's kind of like a sit down, eat type of bar, drinks type of thing. Um, I don't want to take my full purse, but I definitely want, um, I definitely want to take y'all with me because I love y'all. <laughs> and I know y'all love me too. <laughs> but anyways, let me show y'all my outfit because I am running super late. Y'all, I done made videos, pictures, and everything. So I guess this is as good as the lighting is going to get. So this is what I'm wearing, you guys. Just these um, high-waisted jeans. These are like literally some of my favorite jeans, you guys. Um, Y'all see me working out. See, it's getting right. Period. And then um, I'm just wearing this cute um, orange bodysuit. I have to be careful, y'all, because this nipple keep on slipping out. I don't know what she trying to do. She trying to... Give a little sneak peek or something. And then I just have on my ones. And I decided to put um, the orange shoestrings inside. Because I have on this um, cute orange bodysuit. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Nothing too crazy. I'm not even wearing heels. Can y'all believe that? I, I bet you when I pull up, everybody will be like, what? Dreza don't have on heels? Because I step. When I step, we step over here, honey. Period. We don't play. We wear our heels. But I'm just chilling tonight. And I'm not wearing any jacket, you guys. Because the weather, it feels so freaking good. It's like... It's probably like 60, 70, or maybe even 80 degrees. Today it was really hot. So I was like, you know what? I'm wearing this, period, pool. Sis don't need no jacket. You know, I'm ready to go. Real chill, real laid back. Like, I'm ready for whatever. The night is young. And y'all, we get started super early. Um, like, before 8 o'clock early. Okay? All right, enough of me talking. Um, where's my perfume? And y'all, I just literally did a quick face. Like, I don't, I just realized I also didn't put on any highlighter today, no bronzer, no blush. I don't have on anything on my face but just concealer, foundation, and powder. And y'all, look at my lips. This is my one of my favorite lip glosses, is Black Radiance. Um, it's really good, especially when you go out, like your lip gloss, honey. What my there you go. All right, got it. <laughs> Trying to get it without looking. Baby, this lip gloss, 
and it has glitter can y'all see it be sitting all night period and i want to smell super sweet so i'm just wearing um scandal oh so i'm gonna spray a little bit of this on and then um hopefully i can talk to you guys once we get to our location because i really do want to take you guys in with me uh i was not going to change my purse but i'm actually just gonna carry um my coach bag right here i was gonna carry like um my alma bb my louis vuitton but i was like you know what where we going they might be smoking inside and i definitely don't want um that damn thousand dollar bag to be smelling like no cigarettes and weed okay okay we want to keep her cute and smelling good and smelling right period um i wish i had more cash let me see i got a lip gloss what else i need to put in here a comb, a lip gloss, my lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my phone in. Ooh, I got y'all kind of close. Got my phone. Um, wallet. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we need. Ooh, cut this light off. Anything else, y'all? So, um, hopefully my camera can fit inside of this purse if not i'm just gonna go ahead and take my um my tripod off and then i'm just gonna be carrying y'all because y'all my babies i have to take y'all everywhere we go like y'all my big sis i'm some of y'all big sis i'm some of y'all little sis this is a sister channel period all right y'all let me stop talking so much and get out of this house before this alarm get me period all right y'all so y'all actually end up fitting in my purse no problems with the um tripod attached so i'm getting ready to crank up the tune sis and we finna head out i'm a pal never let she throw that pussy i'ma hit that pussy like a family have a dance so we have made it to our second location it is so packed like it is so blowed out here it's crazy the whole time i'm just like this where the hood diggers at they outside tonight they outside y'all i cannot get in trouble i can't be getting in trouble like this <laughs> but i live here i don't come to the west side often but when i do i be looking for the hood niggas <laughs> y'all i have got to be stopped i have got to be stopped you know, I don't come to the west side often, you know what I'm saying? But when I do, they bring them out where they at. So, yes, sir. Oh, boy. It's literally nowhere to park, y'all. And, of course, this time it's more like a club club, like a party. So, I'm definitely leaving you guys in the car. I have to. Let me turn this music down. I love Fugana, but look here. You ain't about to mess with my coin. You feel me? Y'all, this top, I keep having to worry, like, am I giving them too much? The girls are just doing their own thing, y'all. Hopefully, nobody blocks me in right here, y'all, because when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to reverse in. Let me do that, because I ain't got time to be playing, period. Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. Once upon a time, and I heard that I was ugly. My face bumped. 